Hello everybody! I hope you're having a happy season and that all is well. I have been off the line but I've been stamping. I'm working on my cards right now and it's crazy. But I wanted to share with you my year in review mini album that I made for myself. Yeah, um, I don't do that a lot but I did it this year. I decided to pull out some of the papers that I had hoarded um, and so sometimes I buy paper and I don't use it because it's so pretty and I'm not sure what the perfect project is for it. This particular paper line is from Graphic 45 and I think it's called Renaissance Fair and it has been my all-time favorite of their paper line and um, I love it. It's just got a lot of uh, beautiful women and and and, and herbs and, and, and flowers and and renaissance images like from the past it reminds me of the spa because at my spa they have all these women from Greek mythology and they have all these pictures on the walls that are really beautiful and they remind me of that renaissance period so I made a book with that paper this time and the paper is just um, kind of like framing the photos because the photos are the highlight this particular book, and I and I know the cover is really flat, there's nothing on it, it's just the paper. And by the way, the, the paper that I use for the cover is the cover of the collection paper pack. So I don't know if you guys ever use it, but it's shinier, it's a little thicker, so it's nice for uh, covers of books to use the cover of the collection paper pack. And, um, and I just bound it with three rings um, that I reinforced with... Um, the, I think they're called grommets, I forget. And um, the goal is to highlight 2012, which was a really phenomenal year for me. And so I'm going to put 2012 on here in metal numbers. I just don't have the numbers yet, so i got to go buy them, and then I'll put those on there. And that's all you're really missing. So let me take you through it. So when you first open it, um, you can see the all these papers, again, are from the Renaissance Fair. And um, this first page basically is a pocket here. So here, this is the card I made last night. We can just stick it right in there if we wanted to. Christmas card from 2012. I'm not going to though, because I'll show you the highlight Christmas card from 2012. And then um, what I did was this top part is the cover paper again. And this part is from the paper pack and it's just continuing the image so that even if I put the something in the pocket you still get to see the whole image um, some many most of the images are lost in the bottom because there's a pocket and what I'm gonna put in these pockets that are not in there yet are little memor memorabilia like ticket stubs and restaurant menus and things like that from 2012 so that's why the pockets are there and every page has a pocket I'm going to use a white gel pen to journal on this brown area so that's why it's left blank purposely so that I can journal there um, and as you go through every page you can see that in some cases you lose the bottom because of the pocket but I think that's okay in this case um, I'm gonna bring it around here I wish I had reinforced every single hole but um, here in some cases there's an envelope so here's an envelope right in here and this envelope again can put some stuff in here and um, I'm gonna put, put little notes from convention in here so when this is a shot of all the gifts I got at convention on here sorry upside down and uh, when we went to the Stampin' Up! conventions, this is everything Stampin' Up! gave us. But I got tons of little gifts from my uplines, my sidelines, and all of my friends. And I took the notes off the gifts. So whatever notes that they had attached to the candy or whatever. Good to see you, Audrey. Happy you're here, whatever. And I'm going to put those little notes in this envelope because they just made me so happy. Um... Here is another one, and in some cases you'll see I did a little bit of stamping, and the stamping, the back of the stamping will be journaling, and I do have a lot to write, actually. Um, this is one of my mini uplines, and this is me winning prize control patrol at convention, and this is me stamping at regionals. So this is convention, and this is the Tacoma regionals. Um, 
and then this is just talking about the convention. So when you see the uh, the tags, you'll no, you'll understand that these two sections are convention sections. And um, then as I come around here, um, this was uh, my book. So my book was released around the middle of the year, and uh, I'm an iBooks author now and I'm actually a author for uh, Apple Books and so that was pretty exciting and uh, B is for books and so I'll journal about that experience and then in here I'm actually going to put the ISBN number and the different things that comes from iTunes Connect that that makes me an official iBooks author um, and I released this book and you'll find it in the iTunes for the iPad only any of the iPads uh, but not on the iPhone, the stories and techniques behind card therapy. And the reason why it's only for the iPad is because of the format. It's a very large format. It has interactive components. It even has all of the YouTube videos consolidated in it. Um, so it's a really cool book, and it, it's where I talk about um, card design as therapy. So it's kind of cool. That was a big event for me, releasing my first book to iTunes. Um, here, this particular tag is just, I just kind of collaged some of the Renaissance paper from Graphic 45. And when you open it, there's some projects that I've done. So, you know, d throughout the year, we all do a lot of projects. I don't know if you know, I average probably about at least 360 cards a year, at least. Um, and that's a lot of cards and that's a lot of projects, right? So... I pulled out my favorite projects that I did and kind of took a photo of them. This was my little coach bag. I don't know if you guys remember, but there's a little coach on there. But this bag is tiny. Wait, let me go get it for you. Here it is without the scarf because um, somebody took the scarf off. But it's tiny and it's leather. It's actually uh, die cut out of leather. I love that little bag. And this one is out of the specialty paper that I also loved. And then this was a card that's dear to my heart. It's a card I used Mo Digital, Mo's Digital Images to make this card. And then I colored it with Copic Marcus. And on the bottom it says, you know, this is a picture of a little boy who got time out. You know, and underneath it says, Mama said there'd be days like this. And I gave this to one of my favorite engineers who is Stuart because uh, he was in timeout, so to speak, at work. It was kind of funny. I was going to try to cheer him up. And um, then you'll find another little photo mat. And I may add to these mats later on. Of course, I couldn't forget my kitties. I don't know if you can tell, but what happened is there's a, there's a box, kind of a furry thing. A box, and, he's, and Cole, who is 100% black, is in there. So you probably can only see her eyes, but... She's looking out from inside that little bin. Can't have a year without talking about my kitties. Here I did um, some stamping and some inking in order to have a place to write my journaling about my kitties. Uh, I love the map. And so I chose to cut this out around France since that's one of my favorite countries. Here is another mat, and, and oh, I meant to get the artist's name. There's an artist that does these, and so these are just pictures of fo of paintings. Um, and they, I love them so much that I wanted to use them in my book. They were like my, my favorite paintings of the year. And so I'll try to get her name, the artist's name, so I can share it with you. And I think she does sell on Etsy, so... And then inside, I have my little journaling panes that I did stamping on. And I'm actually going to write, uh, you know, my thoughts about art. Because every year I explore art in a different way. So it would be fun to do that. And then over here, I don't know why I did this. I just added a panel here. And if you look at the panel, these are mini thumbnail images of my favorite cards in the year. So last week, I, I think you, you saw my YouTube channel with the photo. Christmas card and that's going to all of my customers in Redmond and so I love that card uh, and and on my card that goes to them it's not the little baby there's highlights of my year so there's four pictures from from the conferences and the conventions and sorry the cats were doing some um, conferences and conventions 
Um, so in these little thumbnails, you'll see that card. You'll also see the, one of the cards I had presented at the convention. So at the Tacoma Regionals, I did a presentation on clean and simple card designs. And there's one of the cards. And there is a video on this uh, set of clean and simple cards. Here's my favorite stamp of the year, which was uh, Pleasant Poppies. I couldn't stop stamping, so I had to mention, I couldn't stop stamping with that stamp, so I had to mention that. And then um, here is one of my expire, inspired cards from the um, uh, what the royal wedding. So I actually did three, and one of them was published. And then this is just one of my favorite. It's got an acetate layer on the top. And excuse my nails; they are bad. Um, acetate layer on top, and then it's stamped on two places on the underneath and the top. So it's kind of a really neat card that I really enjoyed. If you go to my Split Coast Stampers Gallery, you'll see that card up close and big. This is also one of my favorite square cards. It's just a gratitude card. And I like the Spellbinder die. I, I did fall in love with Spellbinder's dies this year. Um, and then this is one of my favorite... Uh, my, I think it actually was my first Christmas card. I'm not 100% sure, but it was a gatefold, and it had a little ornament on the front, so that's just like my favorite cards.